Hey, what's happening? Rock down Detroit Lions fans and one pride nation all over the country and the world. We've got an update for you tonight. A little bit of some things to talk about. And, uh, and it starts with this, man. How could Dan Campbell live with himself today late in the game versus the Ravens? If any one of these guys got hurt that I'm about to mention, and, and, and because far too many times, right, this team has just been decimated by injuries, late season injuries, mid season injuries, beginning of the season injuries that totally derail, derail a season. The Lions are flying high right now. Who cares that they lost one game to the Ravens? They have an opportunity to do something they haven't done in generations. Generations of fans, right? Your grandfather, Lions fan, has not seen what these Lions are about to do, right? So here we are. Enough is enough. The Lions are getting killed, right? And we've already seen some injuries happen during the game. At what point are you going to take your lumps and accept defeat and move on? During the game, Mohamed Ibrahim was carted off the field. He's in emergency surgery right now. Season's done. So Lions need another running back. Malcolm Rodriguez left the game in the second half with an ankle injury. Didn't return. That's probably a few weeks. Who knows? Find out probably in the next two days. And then Cleef Raymond also went down in the fourth quarter Uh, What looked like cramping following a punt return, but again, no other news just yet. So you've already seen, you know, three, four guys leave the game. You're getting thin. Jared Goff's been sacked five times. That defensive front from the Ravens is all over them, right? All, I mean, just killing our our, our offensive line. You're down 32 points. There's six minutes left in the game. Jared Goff is still in. How could you live with yourself? Amon Ra's still in. You've got to be kidding me. Look, I don't care what the reason is. I really don't. Wait a minute. Hutchinson's still in? No way. Anzalone's still in. At what point are you going to go to these guys and say, look, I don't want you, you know, getting injured. I need you out. And, you know, go put your backups in. As many backups as you brought to war that day, put them in. Give them some PT. Give them an opportunity to go do something. Because it's better, and I hate to say this, it's better that something happens to them than than your starters. Now, I don't want anything to happen to any of them. But this is the type of decision-making, you know, that you just can't have. Look, Harbaugh took Jackson out of the game. Why wouldn't you reciprocate? The game's over. It's done. Matter of fact, it was done to start the fourth quarter. Hi, and I hate you, you know, you probably hate that I'm saying that, but highly unlikely you're going to come back in the fourth quarter when you haven't been able to do anything all game. Put Teddy Bridgewater in the game. Let's see what he's got. What can he do? At least go get some PT. See if he's ready. Get him off the sideline. You know? <laughs> Put Antoine Green in a bigger role. That kid needs some reps. Let's see what he's got. Jameson Williams, target him the rest of the game. Force feed him. Get him some reps. And, you know, speaking of Jameson Williams, uh, this is now two weeks in a row. Look, I'm glad, or three weeks in a row, whatever it's been now. Three. But he's tracking the ball funny. You know, he's looking over one shoulder, turning around, looking over the next shoulder, balls hitting him in the face. No pun, pause. But you see what I'm saying, right? The guy needs some reps. He needs some mileage under his feet to get used to the NFL. And he's tracking the ball really funny, which tells me he needs some more reps. So, I mean, you've been playing football this long. I don't know too many guys. You guys tell me in the comments, how many other guys do you see in the NFL looking over multiple shoulders trying to find a football on a single route? It doesn't usually happen unless it's like a broken play and they're trying to make something happen and they're adjusting to a route, right? Or adjusting on, you know, to the pass. Who does this? Who leaves your your starters in? 
to finish a game. Look, I'm all about Dan Campbell, the coach. Love the guy. He's done an excellent job. I'm not bashing him. It's just today that was a kind of a critical error in my opinion. Just my opinion. You just don't do this stuff. You're losing the game. Cash it in. Move on. Accept your defeat. Get your guys out. Take care of them. And look, if the guys are saying, no, I, I'm having a good game. I want to stay in. Well, the answer is still no. You're not going back out on the field. I, I highly doubt that that would even come up, right? I doubt the guys would disagree. But look, put as many backups in as possible. Lions are thin. Let me know in the comments, what would you have done? If you're the coach for the Detroit Lions, right? What would you have done in this case? Would you have brought your starters out and filled it up with as many backups as possible? I think the answer would be yes. I really do. Look, Lions are already down multiple players, multiple starters. We're thin. We're thin everywhere. We got more thin today. We need the waiver wire. We need the trade deadline. We need it all. Guys sitting on couches at home are about to get phone calls from Brad Holmes if they already haven't tonight. So, all right. Check us out on Rockdown Podcast Network, which is where you are right now watching YouTube. And, of course, this channel is supported by everybody that's watching right now. So, please do us a favor and share this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Look, we're on our way. We want to get to 1,000 subscribers by December 1st. So be the first person to click subscribe and help us out. Hey, go Detroit Lions. Go One Pride Nation. We'll see you all next time, but that's all for tonight. One Pride.